Greetings everybody, I'm Eric Kucharski and this is the Swap Shop Fort Lauderdale. Just got two guitars for Guitar Hero. We're off to a banger of a start. Woo! So, walking around trying to find some stuff. I'll keep you guys updated here at the swap shop. Let's do it. Just bought, just bought some PS2 controllers uh, and a game. I'm heading back to the booth now. I'll show you guys when I get there. But yeah, we're at the swap shop. Uh, so yeah, woo. So, I'm not set up yet. I just kind of sort of like threw everything out. But uh, this is my booth so far. Look who just showed up, Mr. Diet Snacks. He's back. Well, yeah, we'll see him in a second. Woo! So, when, look guys, when you get done buying your video games at my booth, you can go over to them and buy that. You know what? It's a distraction. What do you think about that, Mr. Diet Stacks? I was already over there. Great prices. Great prices. Great, prices. Great selection. Exactly. So come check out Adult DVDs. Yes. So Mr. Diet, yeah, Mr. Diet Stacks is leaving. You got anything you want to say to anybody? Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, have a good day. Hail Satan. Um, that's about it. The usual. Yeah, the check, usual. Check uh, Aaron's live stream for our next Coffee Break script read. Yes. I've been really practicing. I think you'll be able to tell. Oh yeah, I've been practicing a little too. Yeah. Woo! Alright. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at that. That is a cool car. There's like a car museum. There used to be a bunch of cars over there. I don't know what happened to those. They maybe sold some of them off. But uh, yeah, this is the inside of the swap shop area. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk to give you guys a show of what happens inside. I'll see you guys in a second. And a swap. Yeah, this is the upstairs area sportswear. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go show you the arcade they have because I always show you the arcade and they got some of my favorite games. I want that sign. It says a Nintendo. It's a light up sign. Oh, but uh, it's probably not for sale. And if you want to get your race on, here is the Swap Shop racing track. I'm assuming it's for little kids. I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but you could race around the little track they have there. And uh, yeah, it's a good time for everybody. So, and now I'm heading over towards the arcade section. Uh, see you guys in two seconds. And here it is. It looks like it's all shut down. But this thing used to be, I actually played this a few times way back in the day, Louis Shootout. Josh, you remember this. There's Louis Shootout. It's been here forever. Um, yeah, apparently they've taken a lot of the arcades out. So I don't, I don't know, this, this market is probably gonna end up getting sold. The same thing they did with Big Top, Funland, Wagon Wheel. All the flea markets are dying, so. Again, I thought I was going to show you the arcade. That's the only thing there. There's like ski ball over there and a basketball hoop. Remains of the arcade, but most of it's just going away. I just, I don't know. And right over there is where all of the arcade machines were. I'm going to check downstairs to see if maybe they've moved some of them downstairs or not, but it looks like they've just completely removed the arcade section. So that kind of sucks, but uh, yeah. So yeah, I am not seeing, I'm not seeing arcades down here, but I do see cars. And there's more of a museum of cars down here. This, this at least is still here. We got Gold City. 
Uh, we've got the food court. There's a lot of places, food places to eat here. Um, we've been coming here since the beginning of my YouTube career uh, to this flea market. Uh, episode 12 or 13 of Misadventures. I forget which one. It might have been bald. It was like a two-part Back to the Future deal I did. Like right at the beginning, the first 10, 15 episodes. But, uh, yeah, this place has changed a lot since I've been here last. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back outside now. I just wanted to give you a little tour of the inside because every time I come here, it keeps changing. And, uh, oh wait, hold on a second. I see a sign that says arcade and video games. Let me go sprawl out over here real fast. I don't think there's actually going to be anything, but... Hold on. Yeah, right there, see it says arcade, video games pointing down, and there's no arcade. What? And then out on this side, we have the merry-go-round, and it's like a carnival outside. We got all these rides and stuff. So this is another fun little section out here. And there is even a roller coaster right over there. There's a mini roller coaster out here. So it's like a miniature theme park. I'm gonna go head back over to my booth though. If I have strayed too far away. But yeah, see that there's a roller coaster. It's a little mini caterpillar. But yeah, I'm gonna go head back to my booth. Because I've strayed too far away and my wife's gonna wonder where I went. Greetings everybody. Uh, Mama Kay and Jabroni, you're not here today, so I will be doing the question of the day. Anyway, the question is. Um, what are your guys' opinions and thoughts on do you think we should do more conventions? Because I noticed there's a lot of, uh, there's a ton of conventions in like different cities, different states. So comment, like, subscribe, and comment below and let me know how, what your thoughts are on us doing more potential conventions like Retro Palooza, Too Many Games, maybe California Gaming Expo or whatever, one completely out of our element, like far, far away. So let me know what your thoughts are on that because I enjoy the, the convention the convention scene. So it's ice cream man. I'm out looking for a wallet because the one I got from Retrofan all those many moons ago is uh, deteriorating and I'm not gonna have it as long as I had my previous wallet. So uh, I'll let you guys know if I find one. See, um, in search of wallet and down there is where a video game booth is right there and Josh unplugged some kid was playing Smash Brothers years ago and Josh unplugged it in the middle of the kids game the kid was pissed so um, they referred me over here maybe I will find a wallet at this booth okay so just bought a wallet back at that booth so if you're over there check them out it is a Paul and Taylor wallet and look we have the Blues Brothers Woohoo. Yeah, and since I know your next question is going to be, why did you buy a wallet? You, you never buy wallets, you know. This doesn't make any sense. Can't compute. My wallet, I'll show you uh, in a second. It's completely destroyed. The top and bottom fell apart, so I needed one. Whatever. A few bucks. Uh, but yeah, heading back to the booth. We're going to pack up and head on out of here. I'll get a few more closing shots. See you in a second. So we're packing up. It is the end of the day. Swap Shop Saturday. Thanks to all of you guys that are wa watching me. Thanks. To oh God. And the, the adult lady over there. Educational videos as she calls them. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Anywho. Um, <laughs> thanks to Mr. Diet Snacks for popping in. Um, always good to have you. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another episode of the Flea Market Video Game Wizard. I'm out. Shop. And Aaron's out looking for the Mario's, the Mario's.